Nicholas Cruz was responsible for the horrific Parkland shooting where he killed 17 students and members of staff in 2018. Following two days of victim impact statements from the victim's families and survivors of the shooting, Nicholas Cruz has finally been sentenced. He was sentenced on 17 counts of murder and 17 counts of attempted murder. He has avoided the death penalty after the jury recommended he be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole, leaving many furious and calling the sentencing an injustice to the victims. The prosecution showed seven aggravating factors, which included how the massacre was calculated, premeditated, and horrifically cruel. However, the defense offered 41 possible mitigating circumstances, including that Cruz was exposed to alcohol, drugs, and nicotine whilst in the womb, with an expert claiming that he has never seen a pregnant woman abuse alcohol as much as Cruz's mother. For the death penalty, the jurors would have had to find the aggravating factors outweighed the mitigating circumstances, which they did not all agree. Of the 12 jurors, three voted against the death penalty. The jurors looked straight down at their feet when reading the verdict, avoiding all eye contact with the victim's families. The mother of Nicholas Duaret said, It is heartbreaking how any person who heard and saw all of this did not give this killer the worst possible punishment. As we all know, the worst punishment in the state of Florida is the death penalty. How much worse would the crime have to be to warrant the death penalty? The mother of 14-year-old victim Alyssa Aladef said to Cruz, You robbed Alyssa of a lifetime of memories. Alyssa will never graduate from high school, Alyssa will never go to college, and Alyssa will never play soccer. She will never get married, and she will never have a baby. The judge also granted a motion under the Son of Sam law, meaning Cruz cannot benefit monetarily from his crimes. Since the day of the massacre in 2018, Cruz's incarceration has cost over 2.5 million. I would also urge you to listen to the impact statements from the families and survivors, if you can stomach it. They are all incredibly powerful. Do you think Cruz deserved the death penalty or is life in prison a more suitable punishment? Feel free to comment and subscribe for more.